Hello. We talk to you guys each separately, and now you guys are together. Well, look at that. <laughs> okay, so season three, can you tell us about the kissing scene? How did you prep? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're just getting into it. Uh, it was actually, uh, it, 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 are, do you, would you like me to start, Sophia? Is that cool? Um, so, uh, no, actually, so funny enough, I we kind of didn't really talk about it because in the script, it said that they kissed, but then we we didn't really talk anything about it prior to filming the scene. And then the rehearsal, we didn't, we obviously didn't kiss. So right when we started to go shoot it, we went to the director and we're just like, so are we, like, what's happening? And I was, and I went to Sophia actually, I think before, and I was like, are you comfortable with this? Like what, like what should, we should talk about this? Like, are we gonna? And so, um, you know, after talking to the director, she basically was just like, you know, if, if you guys are comfortable with it, then obviously that's what's written in the script and yeah. let you speak on it, Sophia. Yeah, basically same thing that Matt said. We were both there, so he said everything that I'm going to say. Um, I think the reason we didn't like anticipate it was because the way it was written, it made it seem mm -hmm. like they were cutting away and it was just alluding to a kiss. Right. So I didn't think we were actually going to shoot a kiss until later in the season. Um, and then they were like, they were just like, they just said something about a kiss and I was like, hold up now. <laughs> I love it. Well, people are very excited. Like the trailer comments, like everyone's freaking out that you guys are together this season. Yeah, but yeah, basically that was it. And it was, it was, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I I think they're just, we've been friends for a long time. So it was very easy. Yeah. yeah. And what would you say was the biggest difference between the vibe of season one first day on set and the vibe of season three first day on set? Were you like less nervous? Were you just excited? I think it was honestly more similar than I would have expected it to be. Like first season, of course, there's just so many feelings. You have butterflies everywhere, not even just in your stomach. And I felt the same way for season three because it almost felt like a completely new show since we we're now filming in California. We had a completely right. different crew. We had new cast members. So it felt so different, yet there was a, a sense of safety and security knowing that I was approaching a, a new season with people that I um, yeah. feel really close to. I completely agree. I think it was, you know, there, there still is a sense of, of nervousness, of course. I, I, I feel like I'm always nervous, no matter how yeah. how long I've done a project I feel like I'm always nervous uh going into like the first day back on set um but it, you know the second I was around everybody and with everybody everybody's so amazing and they're all family to me so uh it was an immediate like immediate uh, com uh comfortability uh yeah. that came with that but as Sophia said it was nice like being in a new space and it kind of did feel like a new project but with the same people and it was it was amazing and it was just interesting to like kind of figure out how the season was going to go because none of us knew and you know at that point i think we only had the first two episodes so we didn't even know anything else about the show so we were like wow this is going to be a ride yeah that's crazy because like, you will talk to like actors and actresses and stuff and they're like oh yeah we had no idea what was going on yeah yeah we were, there. We were just filming so that was fun <laughs> <laughs> and if you could switch characters with any other character who would you want to switch with Honestly, I think I might want to switch with Courtney. Um, I got to see the first three episodes so far. Same with you, Matt. Have you seen the first three? Yeah. And I was laughing my butt off watching Dara, who plays Courtney. She's so funny this season. She's always been, but like this season especially, she has some really, really good comedic beats and comedic moments. Yeah. So I would love to play her. That's funny because she said you. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I thought the same thing about Frankie about Carlos like Carlos is hilarious in these first three episodes it, everything Frankie says hits perfectly he does not miss a joke and it's so <laughs> insane um so maybe now that I'm talking about Frankie I should say Carlos but I'm gonna say exactly. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Ricky because I just want to be able to like I just want to be able to sing like Josh, like Josh has got such a great voice. So if I could be Ricky and like have Josh's voice, then that would be amazing. If not, I'll be, I'll be Frankie. I'll be Carlos. <laughs> We're going to show that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 Carlos is my favorite character on our show. Oh. I didn't say that. How would you describe season three in one word? Fun. Oh, oh fun's good. Um, goofy. 
It could be a good one. Uh, is it is goofy? <laughs> Yeah, that's up to you. That's your call. I have no, kind of it all extravagant. Way that's good. That's a good one. It's yeah. <laughs> it's goofily extravagant. Goofily is extravagant. All one word. No <laughs> and no nothing. Great. Thank you guys so much. You guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Too. <laughs>